Well, I'm sitting here enjoying the last of the view. Very nice view we get here down on uh, vacation in Alabama. And we're leaving tomorrow morning. We'll be on the trout and the mushroom, hopefully, if it if the weather stays warm and it gets rain. But for today, we got a I got a cool catch and cook. Um, I caught quite a few fish on this trip. The majority of the fish was caught the day we got here um, on that Friday. And since then, we've only caught catfish and pretty much catfish, which I did a video on that too, you had to check out. Um, but I compiled a little bit of video and I threw in Kenny, Kenny caught an undersized pompano as well um, at some point in the week that I, that I threw in. But hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for clicking. I would just had, just head straight that way, be right kind of in between the, them people and that lone person. See that? Yeah, good. Probably go for a little bit, maybe a little bit wider spread. Oh, there is one more in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that end one's just got a tickle on it. Catfish. Are you guys from the area or are you guys from? Uh, Michigan. Michigan. Grand Rapids yeah. area? Oh, okay. You can let it go. Yeah, I mean, they look nice. But I think everything, everything out here look, is pretty, pretty nice looking. They got nice colors on them. Ooh, it's trying to poke me. This bird, every time we get anywhere near the fishing rods or or sometimes he'll just come back. He flies back between those people down there and us, hoping that he's going to get a free shrimp laying on the ground or something. But man, he's a pretty bird. See how close I can get to him. Pompano? Yeah, it's a pompano. Because it's showing off. Yeah. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. What's this one called? That's a pompano. That's a under. I think probably undersized. Yeah. Yeah, they gotta be. They gotta be 12 inches. But that's the pomp the bluegill looking one. Okay, that I was yeah, talking yeah. about. Yeah, 
driving. He's, he's probably under. Can I put him back? I got it before it came down. As you can see, it's really rough out here. I decided to come out here anyways, and every year when I go down to the bait shop to get pompano rigs, oh, that one just jumped pretty good. Uh, the guy at the bait shop goes, well, I don't know about the weather. We'll see if, uh, you know, people keep catching every, anything, and seem to do pretty decent. We don't, we don't get them really, really good, but good enough for us get a few fish and get to eat something different catch something different so just the ice packs do you want me to keep them in this bag uh yeah probably surf out there using uh, pompano rigs and weights and throwing them out and letting them set and uh, just waiting for the rod to bend over and we got this surprise catch I've never caught one down here before and we got a pompano I'll show you that in a bit uh, pretty sweet one's a pompano one's a flounder and one's a whiting Pretty sweet, huh? We're gonna be eating good. Oh my god. That's a nice, pretty, I think that's a nice size pompano, too. Hell yeah! <laughs> I can't tell. So they got like a big spike. So I'm good on the tail. Yeah, yeah. I can get them off if you want. Can we get them off? Oh yeah, look at that. You want a picture? I was just telling Kenny that this rod and this rod have been hit, and that one is a lot shorter, stiffer rod, and I can I can launch that one way out, or not way out, but. You know, quite a ways farther than these two because these are more like steelhead salmon rods. Um, especially that one, you can see that it just really takes effect to the waves. 
Um, but it goes against what you'd think. I mean, you'd think the farther you can cast, the better chance you'd have. Um, but it's uh, not always the case out here, I guess. Because these two have been getting the fish, and I can only cast these two about a half a distance as I can cast uh, that shorter, heavier rod. Think one's on there? Oh, right there, that's a hit. say they're good to eat. Maybe we'll eat one by the end of the week, but we got a cooler full of pretty good fish, so I'll probably let, let this one go as well. We had two go off right right one after the other. That was pretty sweet. Yeah, that was really cool. We might catch a few more of these, but I'll, I'll probably do a little, uh, show you the fish we got back in the, in the condo. After we wrap this up out here, unless we catch something real interesting. Feel them on there, Vera? That's the first time it's been hit all day. Oh, there he is. Big whiting. Yeah. Woo! Really big whiting. Nice. Here, you want to hold him up yeah. a second? Really big whiting. Nice. Good eater right there. Heck yeah. Look at those lights. I'm not going to flay them tonight. Um, probably just gut them. I don't even know if I need to do that, but I'm going to do it anyways, as best as I can. And uh, I'll flay them up for you guys tomorrow. Probably, hopefully we can get some more in the morning, but take a look. That's the flounder. Really nice one. Right at about 15 inches. And both eyes are on the top, kind of like a halibut, but they got nasty little teeth on them in there. And then the pompano. This is the one that I um, I set up out there, and I caught this one within 10 minutes. And uh, Brett happened to be watching me and, and recorded me off the back deck of the condo back there catching it, so I got a little bit. But I didn't even, I was caught off guard on this one. But man, they're really pretty. And these two, the whiting, I mean, look at the blue. It's got blue and yellow and super nice. Definitely a lot different than the fish we catch back home. Oh, I guess I'll show the underside of that. They're all white on the bottom side here.
gonna cut this flounder up to start here. I've never cut one of these up before, flayed one, so. And I'm glad I gutted all these the other night because that was, that was Friday night, I'm getting to it, and now this is Sunday afternoon, so I had two days on them, so I'm glad I gutted them. They're still really nice and fresh. Then we're gonna flay this bad boy up. These are really nice looking fish. I, these got a cool look to them, I think. They got a really cool look to them. They just look very different than what anything I'm used to. But we'll cut this one up too. Got a couple white in here. Another whiting. It's fun coming down here and just catching different stuff. It's fun. I really enjoy it. And the surf fishing is, is really, really fun too. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So it looks like it goes right around there. I'm gonna do what they what they did in Alaska and then halibuts and come right down the center line. Oh, that's much better. All right. Oh wow, that is a nice piece of meat right there. Very nice. I think we got it pretty good. You can see the light. You can see the light through there pretty good. Not too bad. Pretty good. Oh no. That's not what you want to do. The knife's a little sharper than I'm used to there. I'm pretty good, kind of slow. I mean, I'm I'm not no master uh, flare, but that was a it's a good amount of fish for those four four that we caught, four that we capped. Um, but yeah, so Brett's uh, family's coming over. The ones that I fry, I'm gonna use this. This is tried and true. This stuff's really good. If uh, if you ever need something. New Orleans fish fry. Um, you can't go wrong. It's really good. So that's what I'll be putting on the ones that I fry. And I, we got some shrimp um, too from Joe Patty's, which is a really good place. Um, so we might spread some of that uh, shrimp up with that. And I've never tried that, so that'll be new. But yes, yeah, so we're gonna do that and probably make fish tacos. I made some really, really good pico I'll show you a little bit along the way, but narration might be might be uh, down to limited, but I think this stuff's gonna be good. I'm excited.
shrimp from Joe Patty's we're going to right here. And we're all family. You can double dip all you want, girl. No. No, that's for the lip. Oh. Oh, the lady oh, well, there, he's in, he's in the I don't know where they look, but they, they come for the floor of the house, I guess. Okay, by the floor, yeah. Because even though I don't like it. It's right there. Let me get mine. That's water. Oh, yeah. But toys for her, treats for her. <laughs> Oh, I'm like, I guess what happened was, I was like, I'm 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 like